of Dina Museum. In the center of Tehran, there is a beautiful old building that now is home to interesting ancient crafts. Glassware and Ceramic Museum of Iran or Abdina Museum of Tehran. It has one of the unique collections of glassblowing arts in Iran. If you always find glassblowing and glasswares interesting, now it's the best chance for you to see how Persians used to make them thousands of years ago. Abdina Museum of Tehran opened in 1980. The museum is housed in the 1915 mansion of a former prime minister in Reza Shah's government, and from 1953-60 it functioned as the Egyptian embassy, so the building itself has architectural merit. The Abdina Museum or the Kavim House was built in 1920 by Ahmed Kavim, one of the Qajar ministers, order as a place for his residence in the form of octagonal. Years later, the building was withdrawn from Qawam al Sultan and it became the embassy of neighboring countries, then, during Pahlavi II, Farah Pahlavi buys this building and made many changes to its interior and exterior design by architects from Iran and Europe. The museum's building is octagonal, in a garden 7,000 square meters large. The building of the museum itself is intriguing for the enthusiasts. architectural style of the building is a combination of the traditional Iranian style and the European architecture of the 19th century. This building has two floors and five halls. The first and second halls are on the first floor, and the other ones are on other floors upstairs. The designer of the display windows of the museum was an Austrian engineer called Hans Holy. The objects exhibited in this museum, belong to a span of time beginning from pre-Islam period up to the contemporary Iran. Achaemenian and Islamic periods, plain terracotta vessels from the pre-Christian era, primitively glazed terracotta wares from the 3rd millennium BC and Islamic period terracotta vessels, library. Most iconic items which are glass tubes from Cox's Anvil, dating back to 2000 BC. The highlight feature of this museum is the design of the showcases inspired by the columns of Achaemenes palaces. The Austrian, French and Iranian architects designed this museum based on Achaemenes and Seyfavid architectural principles applying some modern touches at the same time. connected to the second one through wooden steps in Russian style.
Golden Hall holding Seljuk era lusterware and items which are mostly decorated with inscriptions and Mongols figures on them. Displaying ilkhanate potteries from 15th century. <laughs> <laughs> 